gonna need more caps. Welcome back, Secret Rider number eight. So I was hoping to have a video up well before this and actually have created the graffiti wall for this back wall here in the new graffiti garage that I've been setting up, but I haven't got there. And so as it so happens, only a few days away is Secret Rider number eight. So I'm gonna have to put a hold on setting up the wall and just paint straight onto the surface that I've got here. I can come back and adjust that wall later on. Still a bit of a mess in here though. So let's quickly move everything out of the way, put up a doodle grid, and then uh, or a scribble grid, and then get get cracking. Oh, one other thing. Probably shouldn't use my main sketch paint. I normally use Metropolis Grey do all my sketch ups. I don't like using black, straight black. I like to use something real dark, but not quite, well, not quite black. But I use that as the guide. So I'm gonna be using a red, uh, out red paint just to put in the outline so that I can see what it is that I'm putting on the wall. If I was to redo this another way, it would probably not have similar shapes. I think the randomness of what's on the wall as reference or as the guide is important because when I first started, I started getting lost. But yeah, if I was to do this again, I would definitely have more randomized shapes and uh, guide structure. So the sketch is in. A little bit messy, hard to see, but it will all reveal itself very shortly. So I'll start adding some fill colors and then uh, this will start to make a whole lot more sense. Hopefully. that the character to the right, I think his name's Chopper, uh, his color was too dark and I wanted to change it to a little bit of a lighter brown to match the rest of the composition and look the there on the, on the left.
fellas are now in. If you haven't figured it out, it's a food theme. <laughs> food is not something that I'm particularly strong at, so I decided to go with this one piece banquet theme. And if you're familiar with the anime at all, you know that Luffy, he eats everything. And it's sort of like a race. To <laughs> it's somewhat of a race to like finish your food before Luffy gets to it. So, I thought it was good. It fits my style a little bit more than uh, just doing food letters and stuff. I couldn't figure it out. So, banquet it is. Um, and I'll put the name in the background if you haven't figured that out. Now we got to put in shadows and outline, and then pretty much, pretty much done. realize if I had have done the sketch up in Metropolis gray and not red from the beginning I wouldn't have to redo this outline and I could have just cut back from the original sketch but unfortunately the way that I did it was backwards and so I've had to redo this stage all right so I've gone to put in uh, black lines I know it's messy this is just sort of the way that I work because now I go in and I just cut out a lot of this outline. Um, and so it has, I don't know, I do it in my digital drawings and I do the same thing in my graffiti art. So now we're gonna clean up and then we, oh, actually, shit. No, first we need to do the shadows. Done and dusted. And now for the final reveal.